Hi, I'm Mario Guerra, and this is Talking Downy with Mario and Eric. Welcome. How are you doing, Mario? Good. It's good to see you. How are you been? I've been great. I had a great Thanksgiving. Ate a lot of food. Yes. How about you? You know what? I keep uh, I keep enlarging the gut, and it's all good. I feel healthy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Well, I'll tell you. I'm still in the afterglow. I'm wearing my UCLA shirt here. You are. I noticed. And it's it's you know that when you beat USC sixty-two to thirty-three, it's a big deal. And in Mar House. It's an even bigger deal. So I don't know if many people know. My wife went to USC. I went to UCLA. We are literally a mixed marriage. That used mm-hmm. to be the name of our boat, mixed marriage. We call our kids half-breed, you know, and we have fun with it. But the most important part is going on right now. See, whoever wins the game in our family gets to decorate the Christmas decoration. The football game. The football game, yes. And by the way, did I say that we won 62-33? to 33? Did I say the most ever scored against USC football ever in their program? Ever? 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 It was, it was a signature win. Signature win, yeah. All those papers yeah. said that. <laughs> so, anyways... So years ago, my wife and I had fun with this on there. We had a big write-up about us in the LA Times and so forth. But um, so I had a 12-foot wide sign that says, uh, wishing you a very Bruin Christmas. Mm -hmm. The other side says, wishing you a very Trojan Christmas. So that gets put on our house, obviously, Mm -hmm. whoever wins the game. I had an exact replica of the Rose Bowl scoreboard made. It's 12 feet tall, 8 feet wide, and then we actually put the score there. We have wood reindeer cheerleaders on one side SC, the other side UCLA, Mm -hmm. and then we have cheering sections and so forth. Anyways, our house on there, here we are, we're a faith-filled family celebrating Christmas, the birth of Christ for for us, and yet we don't have any religious uh, decorations on the outside of Mm -hmm. our house. It's about SC, UCLA. So we have fun, and that's one thing Downey is really good about. Downey has a lot of homes that decorate for Christmas, and it's fun to take the kids around. They they really do, and uh, I, I think Downey is known for having some beautiful decorations uh, in the city. I know I've personally driven, uh, you know, the Northeast Downey. You're just looking at those beautiful houses with the decorations. It's really nice. Uh, here in downtown Downey, we have the giant nutcrackers now on the yes. street. They're great photo ops, and it's, yes. it's beautiful. It, it, Downey is really beautiful at Christmas time. Yes, that's part of the downtown business district, by the way, that, that most people don't even know exists. Mm-hmm. So the businesses decided to tax themselves to make it better uh, to clean up for security and uh, things like this to decorate. So the, those nutcrackers you see, that's part of the downtown Downey district, business district. So that's, I'm glad you brought that up. It does make it kind of cool. So. Absolutely. So what do you want to talk about today? You know what we want to talk about? What I want to talk about is we have a lot of famous people from Downey. Yes. We're very notable people who are very accomplished. Uh, some are uh, in athletes and in, in movies and in different genres. So I, I thought it would be fun to kind of mention a few of the people uh, who, who are, are from Downey. We could go back and forth. Well, I, I, we talked about a couple of episodes ago, we talked about Evan Longoria, of course, because yes. the Giants, he hit the home run to beat us on there. I love Evan Longoria, mm-hmm. obviously local Downey boy. But. It, it's, it's hard to root for him because he's on the Giants. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's mixed emotions. I can't root I can't, no. I can't root against somebody, though, a Downey person, okay? Well, I'm a homer. What, what did Vince Scully call him? The, the pride of Downey? The pride of Downey, yes. But, but how cool is it for Evan Longoria to have that on tape? I know. And to have Vince Scully... Yeah. Broadcasting. Yeah. Can you imagine that? And the pride of journalism from Downey, Eric Pierce, by mm-hmm. Vince Scully saying that. That, that would be, be that fantastic. Would be pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, okay, you name one. You know, I, I'm going to go with, with one of the, the bigger ones, uh, Miranda Cosgrove. Oh. Uh, child actress, uh, Nickelodeon. She has her own TV show now, iCarly, on Netflix. Uh, season season two is out. Um she, she's and she embraces Downey. If you follow her on social media, you'll you'll see that she's in Downey, and she she grew up here, and she's fantastic. And I've heard from fans who have run into her, and everybody says that she's such she's very nice in person, and which is great to hear. It's yeah. not just because sometimes they can be jerks, whatever. Yeah. Everybody says she's the nicest person ever. Yeah, mm-hmm. let me. I'll tell you someday about a, a jerk story behind the scenes okay. like that of somebody. So 
you know, it, I should have had it at the top of the list as far as I'm concerned, but um, the Carpenters, Karen and mm-hmm. Richard Carpenters from Downey, obviously they put Downey on the map in different ways, uh, our hometown, local grown, uh, mm-hmm. amazing. Both of them, Karen Carpenter died mm-hmm. way too soon. Richard Carpenter has continued to have a beautiful career after mm-hmm. that. You know, my um, his kids and my kids used to be in preschool together. Were they? So yeah, uh-huh. so down just down the street, a couple of blocks from here. Very nice people. Uh, did donate some things back to Downey when they moved away. But he, he's continued to be an icon in different areas, mm-hmm. and obviously so talented. Um, there's several uh, apartment buildings that they used to own that mm-hmm. are still named. After mm-hmm. them, you know, uh, close to you, you know, top of the world, all those things on mm-hmm. there. So, anyways, there are icon, a new library of the Downey Library. There's a brand new display, and they have got done bigger and better mm-hmm. for the Carpenters. So we're really excited about and that. And you know, speaking of the Carpenters, a new biography just came out on the Carpenters. Yeah. I had a chance to read it a couple of weeks ago, and we're gonna put a, we'll put a link right now up on our uh, on our YouTube uh, video so you can check it out. But it, it speaks. A lot about their upbringing here in Downey, and you know their their houses in in on Newville is very famous because it was on their their album. on the cover of their album. Yeah. But they lived in other houses here in Downey, and this book really kind of goes into that and how their musical careers were shaped as yeah. as, as you know preteens and teens here in Downey. Yeah. So what, check what, it out if, if, you, am- if you can. Amazing talent on there. I mean, and, and you know Karen Carpenter with that voice, but I mean she played the drums and mm-hmm. she. Did, yeah. Anyways, they're to, to me they're right up there. Some of our most famous uh, homegrown talent on there. So the funny part. I'm sorry, I don't mean no, to interrupt. No. But also musical, but on the other on the other spectrum, uh, yeah. Metallica, the lead singer Metallica, uh, uh, James, James Hetfeld, yeah. and he he went to Downey High School, and and he's been yeah. back to to Downey. He's visited his hometown. I think there, there's some photos of, of, of James in in Downey and yeah. outside Doty Middle School. There's and, a power box that we painted uh, over there on Imperial and Lakewood with his likeness and the Carpenters mm-hmm. on the other side. But yeah, he's a huge star. Yeah, and he and he's there, there's a great picture too of him wearing his uh, Downey High School like gym shirt, which yeah. is great. Yeah, and no, that that's fantastic. Well, you know, recently because they posted it on social media, uh, were the uh, blasters. The Blasters mm-hmm. come into town, and a couple of them, um, I think the uh, Alvin brothers, uh, they were here from Downey, but they go mm-hmm. to uh, Chris and Pitts, yeah. and they have their little four reunion. They just posted a picture in front of that. Mm-hmm. I just think that's kind of cool that yeah. here they come back. I mean, they're famous, they're rich, and yet they can eat anywhere, and they come back to Chris and Pitts. To Chris and, and Pitts, a classic. Downey. Two yeah. classics. Two right classics, there. yeah, yeah. A lot of old... Old time food there. You Absolutely, know? <laughs> so, that was a great photo. Yeah. Anyways, anybody else? The the person. This is. I don't know how many people know this, but the uh, the person who discovered the Titanic yeah. is from Downey. Uh, yeah. Robert Ballard. Yeah, he's from Downey, and that was. Pr- I didn't know this until a couple years ago. But yeah. that's that's fantastic. No, he does a uh, world known explorer, mm-hmm. uh, and so forth. Just you know, top of the reputation on there. Does so many television specials, mm-hmm. and so forth. Yeah, he's from. He's in the Downey Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I did check with some of the names on there in the Downey Hall of Fame, and mm-hmm. there's some really valid people that. Yeah. Have, uh, and you know, you have a Warren High School Hall of Fame. This is the Downey, uh, the Downey Hall of Fame. By the way, the only person that's in the City of Downey Hall of Fame, City of Downey Hall of Fame. So only one person in it. City of Downey has a Hall of Fame. The da- City of Downey has a Hall of Fame. I created it on the council, and we voted on it, and it passed. And we unanimously, uh, the last month that I was in office, voted for our, our first and only person so far. The city council has it; they can do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. But that is Dr. Mary Stoffer. She's the only person. So we were able to recognize her there. Uh, there's all these benches on Firestone Boulevard, mm-hmm. and I took one of her quotes and it's engraved mm-hmm. on that and on one of the benches on there, and it says, "Every education is important in everything you do. Never stop learning." Mm-hmm. Dr. Mary Stoffer, and we had her come and sit on the bench, and there's photos of that. She passed away just this year, mm-hmm. 102 years old, icon. Uh, so most people may not know her, but thousands of students have been have benefited because of her. Uh, but yeah. The the only person in the City of Downey Hall of Fame, and I'm glad you brought it up, 
city council. There's a lot of other good people that belong there. Maybe what it, what they should look at adding to that. Interesting. You know? Well, I'm glad that Dr. Mary was the first uh, yeah. inductee because yeah. that, that's very appropriate. Yeah. For her. And then, of course, I mean, the famous people that, I mean, you know, Governor John Gailey Downey. I talk about him at every, just about every uh, episode because our, he's our namesake. But pretty amazing individual that he was and you know was governor first foreign born governor of the state of california obviously there's only been two governor schwarzenegger being the other one so that's just kind of interesting you can go to the other circle you got an olympic figure skater jojo starbucks absolutely so that's somebody else she was a very big deal she was a ba- big back deal. in the back in, i shouldn't say <laughs> back in the day I know, I but know. she was she was you know a, an, an olympian at one time, I think she was married to uh, Terry Bradshaw, yeah, that's and right. she's that's a right. great athlete. That's right. And that's that's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. She's very from down here. You know, and, and so here's the challenge: we're going to do it to our viewers and listeners, and they're send us some others, and mm-hmm. uh, we'll bring them up some other ones too in the future. I'll tell you about the only name, the only number ever retired from Downey High School's football mm-hmm. team. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time too. Okay. Uh, but send us some names. We like to interact. And that could be, this could be an interesting uh, be fun. segment on there. So. That'll be very fun. Anyways, so you want to talk, you wanted to talk and put me down on Tesla. You keep bringing it up. Yes. So what do you want to know about Tesla? So, so, so te- <laughs> uh, we should do a little backstory. Okay. You know, this was maybe, what, 10 years ago, approximately. Two, I, I, I don't know. 2009. 2009. Okay. And so this is very well documented. Uh, Tesla and the city of Downey were negotiating Uh, to open a production facility on the former NASA site, which is currently the the promenade, right? right? Right. And so the the plan was to open a production facility, and it got to the point where it was approved by the planning commission, and it was, it was, we were pretty confident that it was going to happen. As a matter of fact, I remember I interviewed you at the time, and you gave me a great quote. You, you, the, 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 the quote was, it, it is 99.9% certain that Tesla is coming to Downey. And so we published it and it kind of, it got some, uh, it got some publicity, uh, but we know that it, it didn't happen. What, what happened? What, what, what's the well, inside story? First of all, we beat out Long Beach and Long Beach was ticked off about that. Mm-hmm. So we did beat out Long Beach and Elon Musk told me that we had beat out Long Beach. So Tesla had approached our city uh, where well, we had the Downey Movie Studios, okay? And uh, they wanted to build the greenest manufacturing plant in the United States. The carbon footprint for there was gonna be uh, less than a can of spray paint. So it was gonna be amazing. So we started dealing with Elon Musk uh, for an entire year. Our staff mm-hmm. worked hard on it. We courted them. We mm-hmm. took a, a bus, I took the entire council, and we went and visited them at the SpaceX thing and gave them a pen to sign and all the Apollo paraphernalia, you know, from, uh, uh, from the Apollo capsule, Downey, from the Apollo capsule to Tesla the legacy continues Mm -hmm. we took out a full page ad in the LA Times Mm -hmm. with saying that with an open letter to him by the way the story on that is it cost ten thousand dollars for the sign uh, for the whole full page ad to Mm -hmm. to go after them and this is the first time we're being aggressive in economic development Mm -hmm. this was going to mean four thousand jobs to our Mm -hmm. community so but we didn't have time to have a city council to approve that and our city manager had a spending limit of just under $10,000. So we went to the LA Times and says, we have $9,990 for this mm-hmm. ad. Well, no, it costs $10,000. Mm-hmm. We said, we have $9,990, mm-hmm. take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. And they took it, because that way it could be under the city manager's authority. Sure. We then approved it later mm-hmm. on. But that's just kind of interesting itself. We courted mm-hmm. them. They basically were coming here. We had late night meetings. I was in on it. I remember leaving at 11 o'clock at night and hugging Elon Musk in their parking lot while our lawyers continued Mm -hmm. the negotiation. So we're excited. So when I said that to you, we're still there. We're still right. I have Mm -hmm. a copy of the lease in my hand. I have it for my own personal archive. So what happened at 1.30 on Thursday, okay, I'm having lunch just down the street here in downtown Downey, 
and I get a call from Daisy Gwynn from the Associated Press. Mm -hmm. She's a reporter. I can't believe I'll never forget that name. Mm -hmm. So that night, we were supposed to have a city council meeting, an emergency city council at 4.30 to approve this lease. Mm -hmm. And then at 5 o'clock, we're having a press conference with Elon Musk, Governor mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger, and so forth, announced this new plant mm -hmm. here in the city of Downey. So what happened, I get this call, and Daisy Gwynn tells me, she goes, well, the, they're having the, the press conference, but they're having it at Tesla's office in Swain Carlos. They're mm -hmm. having it up north. And I said, no, 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 it's going to be down here. Mm -hmm. And I had just talked to Tesla about an hour earlier. Mm -hmm. So she goes, well, you might want to check. The governor's office issued this statement mm -hmm. just now. So I called Elon Musk. It was my first call. And he started hemming and hawing. Well, Mr. Mayor, um, and so forth. I go, Elon, what's going on? He goes, well, Mr. Mayor, we made the decision we're going to be in Fremont. We're taking over the Toyota plant mm -hmm. there. And I said, wow, so last night when I left your office at 11 o'clock, you couldn't have told me that? When was the sign? He says, well, we kind of finished it last Friday. I said, so you basically for a whole day and a whole week, you let us on even though mm -hmm. you knew it wasn't going to happen. So, Shame on you. So do you think Tesla was using Downey as leverage in their negotiations with? I, I, absolutely, mm -hmm. but to a point. Right. Okay, I think that they were doing it to get the fine print done mm -hmm. with Toyota. He told me, uh, Elon Musk told me that Mr. Toyota, uh, when he rode their little roadster car that he had, he offered him $50 million for 5% of the company. Mm -hmm. And they shook hands right there. And he said he regretted. He should have asked for $100 million. Mm -hmm. And if you look back today, that $100 million is probably worth a couple billion. But yes, so um, so Elon Musk told me that, that story on there. And so yes, I think they were using us to a point. Mm -hmm. But um, so then we had a press conference. We, we were watching it live. Our staff was devastated. Um, but I gave him a quote and to Daisy Gwynn in the Associated Press reporter. So the first comment right after Governor Schwarzenegger spoke, then Elon Musk spoke, and was from another Associated Press reporter saying, Mr. Musk, Mayor Mario Guerra from the city of Downey says you've been disingenuous, you stabbed him in the back, and you're what gives mm -hmm. corporate America a bad name mm -hmm. based on how you handled this negotiation mm -hmm. and leading them until the last couple hours. Mm -hmm. And poor Elon Musk wasn't quite sure what to say. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Downey's a fine city, and we'll, you know, if we have to build in the future and so forth. So he called me that night. He goes, hey, we're, we were going to be on a couple of TV shows and radio shows together the next day. He goes, can you ease off a little bit? I go, no. I go, you literally made us look like country bumpkins, mm -hmm. and you didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. And so he asked, can we at least talk about it and I said okay I'll take the stab in the back part out but mm -hmm. the disingenuous stays so 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 the issue isn't that Tesla chose another city it's that they weren't up front they didn't reveal that yeah. they were negotiating simultaneously with another city yeah. and they were negotiating with Toyota yeah that would have been nice for Downey to know right. but nobody was aware of that. no and and up until again on, on uh, the night before, on a Wednesday night at 11 o'clock, our lawyers finished this. I was there. Mm -hmm. I left together with Elon Musk. Okay? The press conference and our vote, vote. And I, we have the emails. I've shown you the emails mm -hmm. that they were coming. That's why he was getting ready to do the press conference. I, I showed you those emails. Yeah, right. Um, th then his was 100% that mm -hmm. we were coming, he said. So anyway, so the issue was exactly that. He already had it and was working this deal. So just tell us. And that's mm -hmm. what my point to him. Mm -hmm. Tell us you were doing this mm -hmm. and we would have backed off and yeah. at least we would have played it differently mm -hmm. knowing what we had to do for to protect our community. But... Um, so that night, remember, we had been working on it for a year, and we had only talked about it openly the, the couple months before. Mm -hmm. So the staff was devastated. So our city hall was closed, and everybody's in the dome. Everybody's kind of looking to me like, what do we do next, and so forth. So uh, anybody that's been to city hall in Downey knows we have this open atrium, and the third floor is the executive where the city manager, city mm -hmm. attorney, and the city council and the mayor have their offices. So Elon Musk had given me a Roadster remote control car, mm -hmm. and we used to play with it there upstairs and, mm -hmm. and you know have fun with it. So after the offices are closed, City Hall is closed, and there's nobody, and I double-checked before, we all leaned over the, the top mm -hmm. railing on the third floor, and I took the car and I dropped it. So yeah. I fell three floors, 
it hit the bottom and it splattered. And, yeah. and uh, we'll show you a picture. There's a here. great photo of that. It is a great photo of that. And, and it, he relieved some tension. Mm -hmm. And it was just fine. It's childish, of course. And we made sure, obviously, it was closed. Mm -hmm. There's nobody going to get hurt. That night, I told our staff, I said, listen, let's pout. Let's mourn. Let's cry. Let's feel mm -hmm. hurt for three days. Today mm -hmm. is Thursday. Okay. We come back on Monday and we say what's next. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we came back on Monday and what's next turned out, and, and, and some people were critics of it, and I understand, mm -hmm. but we have the promenade. And, it, and we did create about 3,000 construction jobs to build it. It was a $400 million development. Yes, it's a shopping center, but it has retail. It has restaurants. It has, um, you know, a movie theater, our first steakhouse and Gaucho Grill here in the city, thanks to Kurt. So we did get more fun things, but, yeah, 4,000 jobs of Tesla would have been really It's It's all that. And, you know, I, I've been critical of, of the promenade for, for different reasons. Um, but it, 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 it's just it's a shame that it didn't happen because with Downey's history of, of aerospace and what yeah. that what's happened on that property it felt like a natural transition yeah. from aerospace to to tesla yeah. it, it was a perfect fit yeah. so it, it, it's too bad and elon he did write a letter to the city of downey where he he was very complimentary of the city and of, of city officials and he did say, you know, in the future, if there's an opportunity, he would love to come to Downey. You know, nothing's ever happened, whatever. Uh, it's, it's a bummer. It's yeah, a bummer. It was. But, you know, Downey was, was right there till the very end. Yeah. It almost happened. Trust me, it was a point of contention. I mean, obviously, I took it personally because I, I was the, the negotiator and the lead, uh, you know, uh, relationship building with him and, and we really did get enjoy, uh, get along really good he, he always took my calls I always took his calls uh, uh, and so forth very professional uh, here's what you don't know here's the little mm -hmm. the little things behind it uh, and by the way so years later when Texas a city in Texas the reporters there called me and asked me whether I'd do it again because they were mm -hmm. going to be building there negotiating with local cities and I said, you know, I'm not a hypocrite. Of course I'd do it again. Mm -hmm. You know, why wouldn't I do that on there? You know, I can't say they're a good company and we want them. And then because they didn't come here, you mm -hmm. know, it'd be disingenuous, right. right? So I said, of course I would. So that was kind of interesting. But here's something that nobody knows mm -hmm. or most people don't know. So when I was running for re-election, okay, he sent me a check, personal mm -hmm. check for me almost for $2,500, which mm -hmm. he thought was the, the limit at the time. And I thought it was kind of cool. It's mm -hmm. like, wow, that's nice. That I mean, he, he wrote that nice letter mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So I took a picture of it, and I sent it back. Did you? So, yeah, I just, it felt funny. Mm -hmm. It felt funny, not that, it, it was almost like, not blood money, that's a yeah. ridiculous thing. But it felt like, uh, I feel bad money, right. <laughs> you know, and so forth. So I sent it back to him, mm -hmm. and he, I got a nice little note, and I sent him a nice note. So, no, if I see him today, I think that, uh, you know, it, it'd be fine. I mean, they yeah. did what he had to do. Obviously, he's a wealthiest man in the United States on there. Mm -hmm. So he did pretty well for himself. He didn't need down. He, he but, did. And but, you, you know, it, my story. It, it would be interesting to one day hear Elon's version of it. Yeah. And, you know, we would be open to having Elon on our podcast as a guest. Elon, you know. all is forgiven. We'll have you in here. And by the way, we could use some of your money for the Columbia Space Memorial Center when we built the new building on there to hold the original, uh, the original space shuttle called Inspiration. So, Elon... If you're listening to this, if you want to watch this with some of your people, we all kidding aside, uh, we'll do it remotely so you don't have to. You can still do it from Texas. But Absolutely. Thanks for bringing that up. Absolutely. But yeah, that'll always be, Eric, it's, uh, it'll always be personal to me. That whole story, that whole time, spent a lot of time on it. I was proud to be mayor and be the negotiator on a lot of different things in the relationship with him. So it's kind of interesting. It's part of my life, and I think mm -hmm. of it now, moments like this, and kind of replays, like, wow, that was interesting. And, you know, it, it, it's something for Downey to be proud of. You know, I, I remember, I remember um, not personally, but reading, in 1956, uh, the city of Downey tried to get Dodger Stadium built uh, here yes. in Downey on yes. that same site. Absolutely. You know, the Dodgers were playing at the Coliseum. Yeah. Do uh, Dodger Stadium didn't exist. 
And I remember uh, the then mayor, Scott Temple, wrote a, a letter to, to the Dodgers and said, hey, we have a great facility. We got space right by the freeways. Yeah. Come come and build your, your Dodger Stadium yeah. here. Obviously, it didn't happen. Right. But I like that thinking. I think this was very similar. Yeah. you got to give it a shot. I tell you, this kind of started us on that more aggressive redevelopment. You know, when I first got on there, the same thing. Well, then we're looking at the what next part, right mm-hmm. after Tesla. So the the NFL was looking for expansion and so forth, which mm-hmm. ultimately took uh, Texas. But when I talked to some of our city staff and whatever, why don't we reach out to the NFL? And they kind of mm-hmm. laughed. Well, guess what? I called the NFL. I literally looked up the number in New York mm-hmm. and called the office, said who I was and why. We have mm-hmm. land here, surrounded by four cities. It would have been... Anyways, I got a call back, mm-hmm. and I had another call. I actually got two calls regarding mm-hmm. it. Obviously, it didn't happen either, but we should have thought big. Uh, at the South Rancho campus, when we're in there with our city staff in D.C., meeting with Senator Dianne Feinstein regarding some other issues. Mm -hmm. When she came in to the meeting, frustrated because West LA was giving the uh, FBI and the federal building a hard Mm -hmm. time there for certain things. And I said, this Senator Box, uh, excuse me, Feinstein, why don't you build an FBI office um, in the city of Downey? Mm -hmm. We have land in the South Campus. Again, you could draw from Orange County, draw Mm -hmm. from LA, and they're surrounded by freeways. And she thought that was a good enough idea. Mm. She put it in writing. Mm. And actually, I think, used that as leverage against West L.A. It didn't yeah. happen again. Sure. But, Eric, that's the one thing that I want to encourage all local officials and everybody that's trying to build a business or development on their, and local elected officials. Mm-hmm. Don't rule anything out. Reach for it. Go for it. And the Tesla story, we didn't get it. Uh, I'm a better person for that experience, mm-hmm. and it's interesting, but I think all local municipalities need to go for it, you know. Well, Eric, I tell you, the holidays are coming up, and I'm ready to, you know, pause our, our podcast for the next couple of weeks and come back ready in January. I think we have so many great ideas. Please keep sending us all your ideas. Uh, we've gotten some criticism. It was kind of fun mm-hmm. uh, to get. But, you know, you have the numbers. We're going to put up the numbers, how to get a hold of us, how to email us. We'd love to listen. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Interesting, we're now on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you can get, uh, wherever you can get your uh, podcast. Um, please subscribe to us. It helps us. It helps us see who the regular listeners are. And we've been working on that. Mm-hmm. But, Eric, it's, it's been really fun doing this. Uh, we now have, you know, four episodes under our belt. We'll mm-hmm. continue to do that. We'll open it up. We haven't had a dork of the month on there. We got criticism for that, but mm-hmm. we haven't. Had, somebody said the two dorks that are talking about dorks. Right. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Okay, what do you like? What would you like to have it? And put Trader Joe's over here, okay? Put that mm-hmm. on the side. We all want a Trader Joe's. It's not going to happen for a while. So I want to hear from you what you would like, and then we'll have some fun with it. Yeah. I think you and I are going to differ a lot. I think I the, think so, too. I think my I think old so age and, and your young age right. and our different uh, views of life on that. Well, you know, team. I wanted a Sprouts, but hey. it apparently it's going to Norwalk. Congratulations to Norwalk. Congratulations to Mayor Jennifer Perez. Mm-hmm. And they got it. I know that you deal with Norwalk also. Uh, great people and uh, good for them. Yeah, okay? that'll so. be fun. But let us know. Uh, email us, call us, text us, or follow us on Facebook. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year to you and your family. Same to you. So, and we're going to wrap up uh, here, Talking Downey with Mario and Eric. (laughs) 